Here's an example of a puzzle type manipulative. This is called OOP chain, which stands for Order of Operations chain. And the basic premise here is that all the students get, they usually have them work in groups of two to three, and they get a set of tiles. It's the same set of tiles, so everybody's going to have a, the same solution to the problem when they're done. So in a sense, it's kind of a logic problem and an algebra problem. The tiles have algebraic expressions or simplified algebraic expressions or even just um, answers to algebraic expressions on them. And the students have to figure out what the problems are. So the only hint is that there are eight problems. Each problem has four cards and there are eight whammies. So the whammies go problem by problem. So with each problem there's one card here that looks like it should be a step but isn't. It's actually an incorrect step. So part of this problem is sorting out all the information. So for example, um, students who to get this a little faster tend to realize that the problems that look the biggest probably are the ones that are the starts to problems. So things like these two cards here might be the starts to problems. So a lot of them will start by you know pulling those out. Um, a lot of them will also start by pulling out the answer cards and putting those all in a pile off to the side, figuring that that must be the last step to the problem. Okay, so in each of these chains here, we should have um, a step. So, for example, this is a step for this part right here. Uh, and let's just make sure, they have to make sure that the whole step is correct. And in this case, it is. And then they might say, well, what would be the next step here? Um, 1 plus 3 would be 4 over um, 12 minus 4, which would be 8. So maybe 4 eighths. And so they might go looking around in their pile of stuff for something like 4 eighths. Um, it's really interesting to watch how students go about solving this. Um, and the whammies are in there because uh, students tend to just uh, blindly put steps together if you don't put in whammies. So this puzzle involves also pulling out, you know, eight incorrect steps uh, in, these, in these examples. So they have to have four chains, essentially, of steps that make correct problems. Um, and, uh, and then the eight whammies to pull out. So this is an example of a puzzle because um, every, stu every student group, when the puzzle is solved, will have the same solution. They may go about solving them in different ways, and that's what makes it a puzzle. And you have to use quite a bit of logic ability to figure out what the steps are. You have to use your algebra skills and your, or your mathematical skills and your um, logic ability. So it makes it more fun than just, say, doing the A problems in the first place. The other thing that helps here is that many students don't ever write out these kind of in-between steps. So it forces them to think about what those in-between steps look like in a way that they don't normally pay attention to it. So anyways, this is a, this OOP chain problem, this puzzle, and uh, that's an example of a puzzle type activity you can do in class.